As young witches and wizards, we all dream about soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? To beat my toughest opponents? To keep my composure when it matters most? To chase my dreams at any price? To seek glory for my team. Because someday, that dream could become a reality. And the road won't always be easy. But if you just keep getting back on your broom, and trust in your teammates. Quidditch is magic. So ask yourself again, do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of a Quidditch champion? Every Quidditch champion's journey has to start somewhere. And for many, that's in our own backyard. In our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch, and wind blowing in the trees is a roaring crowd. Can you picture yourself playing among your heroes?
Welcome to our backyard Quidditch pitch. Before you take flight, let's make sure you're comfortable on your broom. Rest comfortably in the saddle and double check your grip position. When you think up, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, try some adjustments. There are a lot of threats on the Quidditch field. Mastering your evasive flying will keep you out of harm's way. You can really push your broom for an extra boost of speed, but it won't last forever. You'll eventually need to ease off and recover. I think you're ready for something a little more advanced. Drifting will let you fly in one direction while looking in another. I use it all the time, not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's first time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge to really see what you can do. There's no rush to move on until you're comfortable. How are you feeling on that broom? Brilliant. Then let's brush up on Quidditch, shall we? It's really not all that complicated once you know all the positions. Each team has three chasers. They're the heart of the Quidditch team, if I do say so myself. That ball is called the Quaffle, and the chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the Quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. And working as one, throwing the quaffle through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. Quidditch is fast-paced and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As a chaser, your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a pass. Now that you've got the quaffle, don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get you so far. The truly great chasers. As a chaser, your main focus is to score points for your team. The more you score, the closer you get to winning. Get those points by throwing the quaffle through the red goalposts. Always be on the hunt for the quaffle. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Impressive work so far. You've proven you can score on an empty goal, but they won't always be unfair. Let's see if you can slip one past the keeper. That about does it for the chasers. Are you feeling ready for a warm-up match? I was hoping you would say that. Let's go chasers only for this first match.
This is the Weasley Twins, your favourite pranksters and Quidditch players. This is Ginny Weasley, co-commentator for this match. Let the fun begin. He takes a chance and... And it's a miss. The visitors steal possession. There goes the shot. This chance to make scoring goals look easy. The shot and the quaffle is in. Quaffle soars towards this chaser is unstoppable. Keep moving it downfield. Chase the line. Go! I can hear the snitch, but where is it? He goes for the tie break. The quaffle goes in. Either that's the final whistle, or Mom's found the flubber worm in the toilet. What a match! didn't think we'd win the very first match, but it was well earned. Shall we challenge them to a rematch? Or are you ready to learn more about Quidditch? All right, the lesson continues. The Keeper adds a lot of depth to the game, so let's add one now. Oh, and I think my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Have fun! <laughs> Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chasers as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. Chasers can play a decent defense, but to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving, more like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try.
Diving is an important skill for a keep to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings. As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick, in this case. Oi, don't doze off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Now, let's watch the effect that has on your chasers. The keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. That's about all you need to know as a keeper. Are you ready to play a match with proper defence? Brilliant. With the keepers added to the game, things are about to get a lot more interesting. This is the Weasley Twins. Welcome back to the pitch. Get comfortable, but don't forget to duck. Let the fun begin. He takes the Chocobo sword through the post. the shot, and that's a goal! There goes the shot! But the shot goes wide! Soars through the goal. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing, too. I think the gnomes are back again. What a match. It was a great match. Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Now, shall we move to the next lesson? Or are you itching for a rematch? Brilliant. Let's move on to the roles that make Quidditch truly unique, starting with the beater. Better find someone fearless for the job. I know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. Or was that George?
Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. Or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? Chaser isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you'll need the beaters. As a beater, your main focus should be on supporting your teammates by disrupting your opponents. And that all starts with a bludger. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters can do the same, often the devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits, and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponents. That usually does the trick. All right, let's put all this practice into play. Hit that player with a well-placed bludger. Don't worry about hurting them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were voluntold to do this, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Okay, let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while the stick battles. Maybe we should worry about hurting them. Just a little bit, at least. Spectacular! Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off their broom. you understand what a beta does, are you ready to see them in action? Then let's play a match with bludgers and beaters in the mix. Watch, Watch your head out there. there. Back for another exhilarating game of Quidditch. We, we can, can hardly, hardly sit, sit still. still. Here comes the bludgers! There goes the shot! This one's a miss, but keep your chin up! That's a fumble! There goes the shot! The chaser scores a goal! Perfect timing too. I think the gnomes are back again. This has been your dynamic duo of commentators, saying that you don't have to go home, but, but you, you can't, can't stay here. here.
Nothing like dodging blood just to get your adrenaline going. How did you fare? No broken bones or brooms, right? Should we play another match before we bring the snitch in? Then that means we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch puzzle. The Seekers and the Golden Snitch. I'm not a bad Seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest Seeker in a century. So, I'll let Harry handle this one. Everybody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive Golden Snitch to score big for their team. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, better have sharp reflexes too. Because once you find the Snitch, you'll also need to chase it and grab it before the opposing Seeker does. If you can stay close to the Snitch, anticipate its movements, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hands. Seekers are entirely focused on the Golden Snitch, an elusive golden ball. It's tricky to find and even harder to catch, but gives your team a load of points. Usually, you'd need to find the Snitch first, but for now, we'll just focus on the fundamentals. You'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with it later. The Snitch is famously hard to keep an eye on. Stay focused to avoid losing track of it. Keeping up with the Snitch can be difficult. But using those gold rings will let you fly faster for longer. Seekers need to be quick and agile, making tight turns at a moment's notice. Drifting is an excellent way to make those tight turns. This time, you'll need to find the snitch yourself, and quickly too. You won't be the only one looking for it when we're actually playing. Keep your eyes open for a glint of gold, and listen out for the flitter of its wings.
that, you know everything you need to know to play Quidditch properly. Are you ready for your first real match? Okay, this one is for all the gobstones. We'll be playing with full teams now, so let's not hold back. This is the Weasley Twins, excited to show off our moves. Let's hope this match turns out better than the last time we played Quidditch. Speak for yourself, I had a great time. But then again, I am the better actor. The Quaffle's up! Chaser, look what a shot! Great work, Chaser. Intercepted. No one's hopping the quaffle on this team. There goes the shot. Well done, Chaser. What a great pass. Everyone in the stands. Watch out for those the visitors steal possession. What a great pass. He takes a chance. Goal! is halfway to catching the snitch. They stole the quaffle. There's the shot. The Weasley team saves it. That's a pass to a teammate. There goes the shot. What the shot. The snitch is within reach. Don't lose focus now. The beater knocks their victim right off the roof. That snitch is so close to being caught. He goes for the shot. The chaser scores! The game is halfway over, and anything can still happen. Chaser passes. The battle for the snitch is over, but the war continues on. Quaffle source towards the goal. What a save! Nothing's, Nothing's getting, getting past that. The chaser passes. Yes, keep moving it downfield. Quaffle is pass. He stole the quaff. 
careful. What a great pass. There goes the shot. The quaffle soars through the post. to the snitch. The Weasley team steals possession. Keeper stops the quaffle. Snitch is on its last legs. The wings. There goes the shot. Oh, just give it your all in this last minute. There's the shot. This chase makes scoring goals look easy. has been caught. Yeah, the salamander we lost in the house, on the other hand. No time to slack off. There's just 30 and the quaffle is in. Blocks the goal. Now, either that's the final whistle. This has been Ginny Weasley, your source for the latest Quidditch news. Farewell. Now that was Quidditch. The speed, the teamwork, the danger. It's all so thrilling. A resounding victory. I don't think any of them saw that coming. You've really earned our illustrious Garden Cup. We found some spare brooms lying around if you wanted them. Gave them a quick dusting and everything. They may not look like much right now, but given some time, I'm sure you'll be able to unlock their true potential. <laughs>